five true stories of gruesome honeymoon murders. The line I now pronounce you husband and wife is sweetly sealed with the newlywed couple's kiss amidst an eruption of cheers. Then the new phase of building a family starts with a blissful honeymoon. Unfortunately for the following individuals, the journey to a new beginning abruptly ended as they became the victims of gruesome honeymoon murders. Number 5. Isabella Hellman Murder How does a belated honeymoon trip to the Bahamas, St. Martin, Puerto Rico, and Cuba sound? Any woman would surely find this a romantic holiday in paradise, and 41-year-old Isabella Hellman was no exception. She and her 42-year-old husband, Louis Bennett, fulfilled their sailboat adventure in May 2017, three months after getting married. But soon, their supposedly romantic escapade sank into the pits of hell. Hellman disappeared in the early hours of May 15, 2017 from the couple's 37-foot catamaran as they sailed near the Bahamas on their way to Florida. Bennett initially denied any involvement in his wife's disappearance at sea, but in November 2018, he pleaded guilty of causing her death. The British Australian said he woke up to find the ship's wheel unmanned and decided to abandon the vessel. But investigators later found evidence that the catamaran had been deliberately scuttled that caused Hellman to sink and die. Losing my soulmate is the greatest loss I have ever endured, Bennett said after getting an eight-year sentence in January 2019. Number 4. Michaela McCarriave Murder Marudius takes pride in its tourism sector, so the island nation has been a favorite honeymoon destination. But in January 2011, it notoriously became the setting of Michaela McCarriave's murder that attracted international media coverage. After all, Michaela was the daughter of Mickey Harte, a distinguished football manager from Northern Ireland. More significantly, she was the first tourist ever murdered in Marudius. Twelve days after marrying her longtime love, John, the couple was staying at the Legends Hotel in room 1025, where Michaela was found strangled to death on January 10th that year. John recounts that after they had breakfast together, he played golf while Michaela sunbathed. After their lunch, Michaela went to their room to get some chocolates but failed to return. John soon found his wife's body laying in the bath, cold and dead. Two local hotel workers accused of Michaela's murder were put on trial, but were declared not guilty in July 2012. The prosecution and police still believe Michaela was killed after surprising thieves stealing from their honeymoon suite, but no justice has been served yet until now. Number 3. Helga Conrad Murder Many women have enjoyed being a wife for a lifetime, while Helga Conrad was one for just a few hours. No, she didn't divorce her 21-year-old Dutch husband Ernest Dumoulin. Helga was killed by Ernest on their honeymoon night. The 19-year-old German girl's parents disapproved of their whirlwind romance, so they eloped, moved to an Edinburgh lodging house, and tied the knot on Friday, October the 13th, 1972. That night, the newlyweds strolled at the Salisbury Crags Cliff, perhaps for a little romantic stargazing. But just hours after saying I do to Ernest, Helga fell to her death 100 feet down the cliff and was found by a sailor. According to Ernest, his wife slipped and tumbled, but the truth was soon uncovered when a letter and a 412,368 pound note worth of insurance was taken out on Helga's life the day before were found in the couple's rented room. Insurers revealed Ernest tried to claim on the policy the day after Helga's death. He was found guilty and later admitted to pushing Helga to her untimely demise while he was serving life in prison. Number 2. Ani Dewani Murder South Africa's economy is reliant on tourism, yet its murder rate is on average 46 per day. In November 2010, Swedish Indian Ani Dewani became part of the statistics. Ani and her husband Shrin were honeymooning in Cape Town 10 days after they wed in Mumbai, India on October 29th. The couple hired local taxi driver Zula Tongo as a tour guide on November 12th. After the Dewani couple had dinner the following night, two armed men, identified as Maziwa Mandura Kwabe and Zulil Mageni, hijacked the taxi. They then ejected Tango, stole Shrin's valuables, and also threw him out of the vehicle. At 7.50 a.m. on November 14th, Ani was found dead in Ligilithu West with a single gunshot wound to her neck. The hijackers, the taxi driver, and the hotel receptionist, Mombolombo, were all arrested and they confessed to the crimes but they later on changed their stories to allege the crime had been a premeditated murder for hire at the behest of Annie's husband. No substantial evidence proved Shrin's involvement in his wife's murder, so he was exonerated. 
but Kwabe, Mgeni, and Tongo were convicted and served in jail. Number 1. Ben and Catherine Mullaney Murders British couple Ben and Catherine Mullaney had a bright future ahead of them as medical practitioners and as newlyweds in 2008, but their honeymoon murders in Antigua crushed their dreams even before they could begin a new phase in their lives. Ben was in his third year pursuing to become a physiologist, while the pediatrician Catherine was training to be a general practitioner when they married on July 12, 2008 in Wales. Two days later, Mr. and Mrs. Mullaney headed to Antigua, an island in the West Indies, for a two-week romantic escapade. But it became an ill-fated honeymoon when on July 26th, the night before they were to return to Britain, they were fatally shot in their cottage at the Cocos Hotel in a robbery attempt. While Catherine died on the spot, Ben managed to be airlifted to a hospital in Wales, but eventually took his last breath on August 3rd. Their murderers, Antigua natives, Avi Howell and Kenyel Martin, were both convicted for three consecutive life sentences in July 2011. Perhaps Ben and Catherine are now fulfilling their marital vows in heaven. If you enjoyed this video, then please subscribe to our channel for your daily fix of awesome infotainment.